Alright, so in the last video we talked about what would happen if we forgot to initialize a variable in C++. And we are getting some crazy number, um, and that's not what we want. And sometimes we want to make a program that's just more interactive for the user, because so far we've just been writing like 5 plus 3 over and over again, and you know we're just getting this program that just prints out an 8, and you know that's kind of boring. Um, so what we want to do is we want to make one that's a little more interactive with the user. So I mentioned that it's okay to uninitialize variables uh, if it's going to be inputted by the user right in the next line. So what we're doing here is what we have to do is write C in and then greater than greater than. So C in is basically like the opposite of C out, kind of. Like uh, C out basically takes stuff from your program and or from your computer and puts it on the screen so you can see it. And C in basically does is it uh, it takes things from your keyboard that you're gonna type in and sends them into your computer, you know, into your program. So we could say C in Y, just like that. Okay, and then well we had X plus Y is our answer and C out. So let's run this program and see what happens. So we're gonna go ahead and run this program, and well we're not seeing you know what we used to have down here, so we don't really know what's going on. But I'll just show you. I can put in some numbers, something like that, right? So if I say put in four and press enter, it gives me a nine. Well, hey, let's look at that. Okay, that's the four. 4 plus 5 is 9, okay, so that's my answer. Um, but, you know, had we not talked about this, you, you, would, you wouldn't know what to do. You would be like, I don't even know if I'm supposed to type in anything. So the way we can get around that is, well, we could say something like, um, we can just go here and say maybe, uh, we'll see out, you know, please enter a number to add to 5 something like that okay and then you know in this case we don't necessarily need to have uh, if we don't put an end line here then you'll see that our number will pop up right beside it so let's try this uh, just ignore that thing uh, we'll save and go here it says here okay please enter a number to add to five so see, okay well let's put in ten and look fifteen so kinda cool like it's you know it's starting to be a little more interactive um, what if we wanted to do, you know, build like a little more of a calculator program here? We could have integer x and y. And um, what we can do is we'd say maybe please enter two numbers to add to each other, something like that, okay? Oops. So we'll go down here and just make it look nice, put a colon in there for the user. And then what we can do is see in maybe x and then C in Y. We can do this in the same statement, just the same way as C out, right? So let's go here, just ignore that thing. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and run this. And it says, please enter two numbers to add to each other. So I can do one thing, I can write maybe 10 and I can write separate them by a space. So like that and run it and it gives us 25. Or what I can do is I could say maybe 10 and then I can press enter to separate the numbers and then I could say maybe 12 or something and then when we press enter again it gives us the answer 22 all right awesome so and then what we can do we can maybe make you know this a little nicer for the for the user or something and say see out the answer is um, close that off and finish that with a semicolon so when we go and build this um, Let's see what we're getting here. So it says, please enter two numbers to add to each other. Let's say one and two. It says, hey, the answer is three. So there you go. That's kind of like the most really simple calculator idea. Um, what we could do is maybe we could change this. We could say maybe minus or something. Um, you know, and we can change these around. You know, maybe just say, please enter this. Maybe that, uh, like the first number minus the second is something like this right so go ahead and we'll just run this and here we go so we'll just enter two numbers let's say four and five so the first number minus the second is minus one there you go that's just introduction how do you you know use cn and you can start making a more interactive program to kind of interact with the user and kind of build calculators and things like that so 
yeah, I'll see you in the next video, and we'll start talking about the, the fifth um, arithmetic operator, which is modulus.